These little ones are pretty good too. Boy, I do the little candy. I told Paulina, I said, ain't nice to like candies and she likes Pepsi's. And I always take her a Pepsi. She said, well, I'll send her some candy too. I'll like tell you what, I don't know what I'd do if people weren't so good to me. Well, you'd get lonesome, wouldn't you? Hmm. We'll do that later. He's right now doing some pictures. We'll do that later, David. Cut it off a minute. And from my last, and I said I'd never undertake any more. It took too long to make them. Yeah. Of course, I got a hundred dollars for the one I sold. Put buttons on them, you know. Yeah. What do you do? I work in a knitting mill. In the knitting mill. Knit material like this. Well. Gotta go to work tonight, too. Well, I'll say. And you work at night. Well, it's been off for Christmas. It's about ending. Did you have a good Christmas? I did. And I got a lot of Christmas presents that I really appreciated. I don't know. <coughs> the older I get, Seems like the more friends I've got, make friends, you know, go to the center on Mondays and Thursdays. And if anybody will talk, I'll talk. <laughs> Remember, I brought about five last time I come. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Last time I come up here, I had about five grandkids with me. Remember that? I clear I forgot about you it. You did? Yeah. You remember bringing, uh, you remember Marie and Bob coming up with me from Ohio? Yeah. You remember Rachel coming with us? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there was a man, I want to know his name. Give me ten dollars. Yeah. That was Bob and Marie. Well, Bob and Marie, that's Uncle Lewis's son-in-law. Well, Lewis. I just couldn't remember. But I know what he gave me, and I yeah. really appreciated that. Yeah, that was, that was Bob McCoy. Yeah. And, uh, well, I had a card from him, a Christmas card from them. Hello. Uh, no place like home, but there comes a time we can't stay there. Yeah. And I said to you, I've got a home, and I can't stay there. I fell, I come here with... Fourteen stitches in my head, and how come me to fall? I was uh, trying to put a dog out, and the dog put me out. <laughs> a neighbor brought a dog for protection, she said, and the dog wouldn't let nobody get out of a car till I went out. But uh, certainly did cause me to have bad luck of trying to, I wanted to go to bed, and I didn't want the dog in there with me. <coughs> So, uh, I was trying to put the dog out and the dog put me in and my head hit the corner of the seat and it caused me to have to have 14 stitches in my head. Okay. Have yeah. you heard from Charlie? Huh? Have you heard from Charlie? Not recently. Have you? Last time I heard, I talked to Margaret, Uncle Lewis's daughter. And uh, she said she had had a card from Lena. Said that he, you know, he was not too well. Well, the last time I went to see him, they were giving him oxygen in his nose so he could breathe. He didn't even see me. Oh, okay. And uh, I'll just tell you, I don't believe he's going to make it long. When they have to give them oxygen to breathe, that's pretty serious, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that yet. Yeah, that's the way it was the last time I went to see him. How long has that been? Has it been very long? Well, not too long ago. Did Jay come up to see you for Christmas? Huh? Did Jay come up for Christmas? Oh yeah, Jay don't fail to come to see me. He's been good to you, hasn't he? Hello, yeah, I don't know what I'd do without Jay. There's ten years between my two boys. Charlie's got his legs off now, just below his knees. And 
he can't come. His wife calls me though, and last time she called said he's getting along very well. But the last time I went to see him, he was uh, asleep, I reckon. They are giving him something in his nostrils, I reckon, so he could sleep. I don't know what else, but anyway, he didn't see me because of whatever it was they were doing to him. 